Hey guys! I figured it was about time to tell you about my writing. Uh, I was a little unsure about making this video. I came up with this idea about two, two or three months ago, but I was like, uh, they're probably not gonna be interested. But, you know, time went on and I, more and more the idea grew on. And I was like, uh, yeah, they, they have to know. I mean, maybe somebody out there will be interested. I don't know. So I finally built up the courage to make this video, to show you my books, and to talk to you about my writing. Uh, but first of all, a big, big, big thanks, thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I now have over 2,000 subscribers. I wanted to make a video exclusively about that, but I'm gonna wait until 3,000 because I want to talk to you about the history of this channel because it's really long. Uh, I've been around since 2007 actually, so you might be wondering, it makes no sense, but it does at the same time, but that's another different story. I will make a video someday, probably when I reach uh, 3,000 subscribers. I'll explain to you and I'll tell you about, all about it. But for now, I wanted to share, like I said at the beginning, uh, my writing with you. And, uh, well, let's begin with a little bio biography of me, a, a short, short, short autobiography. Um, I started writing when I was 15 years old, and uh, but I never really took it seriously. And I decided to exploit it when I was 15 years old, but only for myself as a hobby. So um, when I was 21 years old, 20, 20 21 years old, uh, I became a fan of Resident Evil. Oh, my gaming history is another entirely different story, but I want to talk to you about my gaming history uh, along with the history of this channel. But a quick overview is that I started playing, like many of you probably, I started playing video games when I was five or six years old on the NES. But video games never inspired me to create something else, like RPGs did, and I became an RPG addict. I mean, a, a, a true RPG game, RPG gamer when I was around uh, 19 years old. Before that, I, I used to play all kinds of other video games all the time. So um, when I was 19 years old, I started becoming really inspired by video games. So video games, especially JRPGs, have been a crucial part in my life and a crucial part in my writing, as is anime, but not your classic type of anime, like, I don't know, Dragon Ball Z or Saint Seiya, or all those fan service animes out there. No, I, I became influenced by anime when I was, when I watched animes like Ergo Proxy, when I watch animes like Claymore, you know, more adult-oriented animes or more intellectual or deep uh, psychological animes. Those are the ones that blended in, in into my ideas and I created, I created my books, which I am about to show to you right now. Be patient. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, when I was 21, I became fascinated with, with the Resident Evil games, the PlayStation 1 games, the first trilogy. And um, I made a fanfic. I printed it and I showed it to some friends, to, to my family. And some of them really liked it. You know, they, the comments they, they gave me, the, the feedback was amazing. I couldn't believe it. You know, they, they were saying, why don't you become a writer? You have the material, you have the talent to become a writer. This is really solid. I mean, I read that story right now. That was over 10 years ago. I'm 32 years old right now and um, that was over 10 years ago and I, when I read it it's full of grammar mistakes and you know some style mistakes and all that all that jazz and I want to change everything <laughs> that's that's the story with us uh, writers we always read something we wrote a year ago or six months ago and we want to change everything but um, the point is that that was the very first time somebody gave me uh, real feedback on, on my writing life and I just didn't know and after that, I became a role player. I, I began role playing in, in, in the virtual world, not in real life, on tabletop. No, uh, I was one, one of those guys playing on Messenger with, with a bunch of friends and being the game master, being uh, most of the time the protagonist. And each one of my participants was a character and the story was all mine. And that's a really long story, but at the same time, I, I I thought that I had to share it with you because I think my life in the role-playing world was crucial, extremely crucial to this, 
because it was then that when more and more people began telling me you have talent for this you're not a role player you're not a real role player you're a writer and I had a lot of problems back then I'm gonna leave that story for some other time so when I was 26 years old that was six years ago I said I have to do this I have to make one of my role-playing stories into a real story, into a book. And so, six years ago, I wrote my first book based on a role-play story. And um, it was really short. It was just, it's just uh, 90 pages, it's a smart, uh, short novel. And it was this. Of course, uh, most of my books, most of the work that I've written is in Spanish. I am from Mexico. I have three books in English, two of them in digital format and one of them in physical format, but we'll get to that later. This was my first book based on a role-playing story. On the back cover I, I explained that. that on, on the inside I explained that it's based on a role-playing story. And uh, well, this, of course I'm going to leave you, if you want to buy my books, if you want to support me, which is really important to me, I'm going to leave the, the, all the links in the description below so you can go and, and check them out in case you're interested. This, this book, which is called The Translation to English, will be Prelude to Oblivion. Um, this is out of stock right now. I haven't printed this, I, I've reprinted this again because, well, as you can see, um, the, the illustration is awesome, but the cover, it's, it's really bad. The, 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 uh, this is, the letters here are really lame. The back cover, come on, you, it sucks. It was my first experience and I didn't have enough money to, to hire an artist to create something even better. So um, I'm planning on reprinting this, this book and fix all of the, the mistakes and change some stuff and with a whole, whole new cool cover and back cover. But r right now, I'm um, sorry if you wanted to buy my first book. Uh, I know how important it is when, I, when, you want to follow, when you want to follow an artist, you want to see how it all began. Right, I understand and I'm sorry, but I will reprint this as soon as possible with a second edition. But that's my first book. And if you want to know, I could explain to you what my books are about. Obviously, you, you're, if you're interested in my writing, you'll obviously be interested in what the books are about, what's the story about. But if I start uh, going into that, this video is going to be like half hour or an hour because I can't, every writer cannot resist talking about its, its work. So. As of now, I'm just going to show it to you, and on the links in the description below, you'll find um, it'll take you to what the books are about. Um, this, all of my books are dark fantasy style, um, psychological, uh, anime influenced, as you, as you saw, and um, this is obviously anime influenced. This is an abstract story. I don't want to get into that. I'm sorry. Okay, this this was my first, my second book. This is called Terra Gaiden. Terra Gaiden, uh, as it is actually correctly pronounced. This one is in English, yes. I wrote this, this book in English because I was going to move to Canada and I wanted to take something uh, in person to the editors, to the publishers in there, so to have a chance uh, at writing this, because in this I did well amongst friends and family members, but to the general public, you know, I, I live in a country where most people don't read, don't like to read and um, obviously they don't support their artists especially when they're independent artists and most of the books they read are from people from another country which is really sad and the, the, the fact is that most people don't support the writers so I didn't, the, I didn't do very well with this book it's not a failure, it's just lack of publicity you know, lack of marketing and most important of all, lack of support. So I wanted to move to Canada to have another chance in another country where people do read uh, slightly more than here. So this book has a lot of background. I didn't go to Canada. Back then uh, they asked they ask a visa for Mexicans. Right now they don't. Maybe I will move to Canada one day. But the point is that I didn't. My visa was denied, so I stayed. But I had this book, not printed, but I really wanted to have this. I knew it was going to be a failure because I'm in Mexico, most people don't read. If they don't even read in Spanish, let alone, let alone in English, right? 
and I didn't care. You know, I had a little money saved and I wanted to print this. I wanted to have this on my hands and I'm so very proud because the very few people that I've read this book, that I purchased this book, have given me a great, great feedback and I can't believe it because it's the second book that I wrote and the first book that I wrote in English. So I was really nervous. I knew people, I kind of, I kind of convinced myself that people were going to be like, ah, it's a, it's a good book. It was a good attempt, but no, um, the feedback on this book is really awesome. So in case you're interested in acquiring this book, as you can see, it has a physical form. I still have a lot of copies of it. Or if you want to purchase it um, digitally, I do have it as well. I'm going to leave it in the, in the description below. My third book, uh, this book is Medieval Fantasy. This book, my friends, I'm going to have to make a, an entire video based on this book because this is highly influenced by JRPGs, especially strategy RPGs. I could say that, okay, Suikoden, it's not a strategy RPG, but Suikoden and Fire Emblem were major influences on this book and on my third book, which is this. They both, they're both about um, characters building an army to fight another army and all that jazz, but I always put those slightly um, dark, obscure elements, and those psychological horror elements, that's like, uh, that's, that's my style. And this, this was my third book. This does not exist in English. I have never translated this one. I hope I can do it someday. And then this book came out four, almost four years ago, the same as Terra Gaiden. Prelude to Oblivion was March, uh, five years ago, March 2013. These two are, they're not the same story. They're totally different. But um, they came out after one month after the other. This was June 2014 and this was July 2014. That's when I started thinking, what am I going to do with these books? I mean, I, can, I could go to libraries, to bookstores, I mean, and, and sell them there, but they're not going to buy them. I'm going to have to leave them on, on consign. I, I think that's the term in English. But that doesn't work in my country. Seriously, I tried that in, in some bookstores. It didn't work. It just doesn't work. So that's when I find out that I, I found out that I could go to anime conventions. Actually, um, this week I'm going to upload another video in which I show to you um, an anime. What's an anime convention like in Mexico? And I, I have been attending anime conventions for over four years, selling my books on an artist table. That's really awesome. That's really helped me a great deal to grow up as a writer. And my next book was something that I thought could be uh, ideal for those people that are not interested in anime or video games or fantasy because I needed to expand my market a little bit. Um, these are 10 short stories in Spanish uh, of psychological horror, mystery, suspense, and all that stuff. Um, this book was a success because it's really cheap. It's really small, as you can see. Just look at the comparison. It's really small. So it was really cheap and yeah, it got me into a different market than I expected. But that different market, you know, it's, it's not something that satisfies me. What satisfies me, what fills me with, with magic, with that magic, with that uh, ideas of creating more and more is just fantasy anime, video games, and all that, all that stuff. And so I couldn't resist and I, I continue on making anime style books. Then came what most people know before. That's uh, the translation to this would be Nick's Inferno, another book that is not in English. But this is next on the line. This is the, the, the one and only book that I want to translate as soon as possible. So, because it's two parts. It's a two-part book, Volume 1 and Volume 2. It's called Nick's Inferno. Nix Inferno. And um, these are psychological horror books. This is, these are books in which I vented out my frustrations. You know, I'm one of those intellectual guys. You probably notice on my videos, an annoying intellectual guys, but I always try to, to not cross the line and insult other people. So, um, I was really frustrated back then. This was a little over five, three years ago. They, they, this came out in 2015. And I was really angry. And um, 
you can see it here, it's a gore. It's a gore, um, it, it even has this. If you, re if you can read Spanish, well, go ahead. If you don't, you, you know what this number means. I mean, there's nothing sexual about these books, but it's just, they're so violent, especially in, in words. Violent in, in, in all that stuff. Um, these are really great psychological stories. I want to uh, fuse these two together to make to create one book. I will someday, both in English and Spanish. So if you're interested in buying them, I'm gonna leave the, the description below, the links in the description below. These are great books, and these are the ones that most people know me for in anime conventions. Really dark books. But um, before this came out, this came out in 2015. But this was this was in 2016. So between these two came one of my other most popular books, which is Seven Shadows. Yup, this guy here. You already saw this one, but in some of my videos I put this one. And people have actually asked me, you know, ah, what, what's that about? Some guy even said that this, that my girl, Alice, that's, the, that's her name, looks like uh, A2, or I don't remember the name of the character from Nier Automata. She looks like her, but my book came before, yeah. So um, the thing is that this is a story about revenge, a girl that she's an assassin and she's pretty twisted and wants to take revenge on, she wants to kill the seven people that ruined her life. Uh, recently, about two weeks ago, for, for the past anime convention, that was, that was the last week and I reprinted this book because it was originally out of stock into a new version. If you compare these two covers, well, I think this one is better. I liked it even more, but you know, to each their own. The point is that this is also one of my most popular books. This, the, the physical version of these books are in Spanish, but this one is translated to English on a digital format. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you can go and buy it. It's a really short story, it's 110 pages long. It's not that, that big of a deal. It's a great book, uh, it's, it's, it's more oriented to teenagers. No, not exactly to the adult market, but anybody can enjoy that book. And finally, oh, after this book, I, I wrote even another book in English, but only on digital format. I have never printed this book. It's called The Shattered Sky. And actually, worldwide, it's my most popular book, because that was around August 2016, 2000, um, 2015, I'm sorry. And um, that book is 50, 52 pages long, it's really short, it's a little rushed. When people read that book, they were like, okay, it's awesome, but it, feel, it feels a little rushed. So if you go and read it, you can read it for free. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. You can read it for absolutely free or, or download it on PDF for free. But um, that's my only warning. It's a great story, it's a great book, but it's a little short. It's like... Um, compressed book. I want to print that book someday and make it longer and make it feel more like a true novel. But you can read for free, it's a great book and it's got over 5,000 downloads nowadays, which well, that's way over the quantity of books that I've sold. That's really cool. Thank you if you already read that book, thank you, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you don't, and if you're planning on reading it, I hope you enjoy it. And lastly, my last printed book is this guy. This was around a year and a half ago. This is called, the translation will be uh, Morgana Code. This is another psychological horror story, but this is science fiction. And this is more philosophical. This is more my, my, my intellectual way to criticize society. I created an utopia with this and also a dystopia. And um, this book is another one that I really want to translate in English as soon as possible after Nick's Inferno. And right now it's currently only in Spanish, but you can acquire it on a physical form. It's really good. I recommend it, obviously. So, oh, about over, over a year ago, I don't know if you watched some of my, in some of my videos I mentioned this, especially in the, in the JRPG, my JRPG collection, I talked about this. Uh, over a year ago, I moved to Nottingham in the UK, in England, and I lived there for five months. I, I went there to try my luck as an artist or, or as a businessman, and nothing worked, obviously, because they have like a million artists over there, a million writers already. 
and um, most of my businesses failed and at the end I, I looked for a job I couldn't find any so I returned to my country and um, during that period I wrote another book which is my newest book It's finished I finished it on September last year but I haven't been able to print it because it's in English it's another book that I wanted to show to publishers from there uh, I don't like editors I don't like publishers because most of them are a piece of shit nowadays but I'm not going to complain on this video about that and um, I really would like to continue being an independent writer for that especially in English I need your support if you want to support me there's two ways one is buying my books obviously and second well there's, there's one thing that you can support me for free and you're doing exactly that right now by watching this video just by watching this video and becoming my subscriber or sharing this video with your friends you're helping me a lot you may not feel like it but you are helping me so thank you very much but if you want to support me so I can keep growing as a youtuber or as a writer you can buy my books or become my patron I have a patron page I will leave it at the description below and at the end of this video so you can become my patron and even if you only uh, donate one dollar one dollar that's a lot that's helping me a lot to grow as a youtuber to create more quality content to improve my quality and obviously improve my writing and improve my chances of printing my books because nobody supports me financially on my books to, to print them I have to pay them my, myself so if you want to support me I'll be greatly, greatly appreciated and the book I told you about, it's called The Reaper's Thorn. It's a really long book, it's around 350 pages long. It mixes uh, history from the 19th century with dark fiction, dark fantasy. And I think it's the best book that I've ever written in my life. It's really cool. And I'm going to start a campaign anytime soon here on YouTube, probably on Kickstarter as well. To, to have that book on physical form and to send it to all the world. But as of now, you, you're just gonna have to wait. But you support me if you become my patron or buy my other books. So originally I didn't intend for this video to be so long. I'm sorry if it's been too long already. And originally when I not created this channel, when I revived this channel because it was dead, uh, this wasn't my intention, you know, to reach this point of, of my channel and, and, and show you this video. This wasn't some sort of uh, dark strategy so you can go and buy my books, you know. I just, it just didn't occur to me. All I wanted to do was share my JRPG love and little knowledge with you all so we can all grow up, grow up as a community. But this idea came out, came out a, few, a few months ago and I thought, you know, okay, it's about time. Maybe somebody will be interested in reading my, my books, in reading my stories and supporting me as an artist. So, um, all links in the description below, don't forget, thank you for watching, don't forget also to subscribe and share this video with your friends. And once again, thank you, 2,000 subscribers, that's awesome, thank you guys, see you next time.